Morning guys, um, I'm down on a friend's boat, I've done a bit of work on this before, I've cleaned the heat exchanger and servicing and had the shaft out and done the stern gland and yeah, um, and he's, he's got a persistent problem now with the primary filter, uh, it just keeps leaking, so he's, he spoke to me about it before, um, I've also fixed bug on this boat before, this is new to me, I've not seen this little thing that he's got on here. Um, so yeah, it, it just keeps leaking. I don't know where from. The fuel's currently turned off. So what I'm going to do is turn it back on and try and chase out. Actually, no, I'm not going to bother doing that. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to strip it down and just check for any sort of cracks, uh, damage, any sort of things that's obviously going to let it leak. Put it back together. Uh, very carefully and then monitor exactly how it is Okay, I just stripped it all down. This is that one 11 mil bolt um, Now I've had issues before with primary fuel filters All it takes is the slightest little dink or dent Something that's not going to sit nicely in that rubber seal and it will then leak it will let by um, so there's no, there's nothing, there's no sort of science to it. Just make going around, feeling, see if there's any like low spots, dips, misshapen bits. It all seems fine in there. The seal that sits in the actual housing, I'm going to change. Even though Mixer has done it, I'll get it out as a matter of course and change it. Things flapping around the wind. Um, and then again on the base here is just having a good look for any any little dense imperfections that could possibly make it not sit nicely in the seal so i'm happy with that next thing i'll do is i'll get the seal off the bowl sit that on there and see how it sits if i show you now it's not massive, it's not tight, it's in good condition, there's no, mm, yeah, I'll, get, I'll get it a good dry but I can't see any issues with it and it all looks like a reasonably good size. So this seal sits in there nicely and it's quite trapped inside there. Some of them can sort of squidge out or squidge in. This, this is quite nice. So with that sat in there, that should form a really, really, really good, good seal. And there's no damage to the filter itself, there's no damage to the glass bowl. Um, I can't see any sort of hairline cracks, fractures, any issues whatsoever with the, uh, with the glass. Now I see fuel sat on top of this which would suggest this wasn't seated properly and what i do um, my friend mixer has used lube and special blah 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 just fresh diesel rubbed around there plenty good enough now this is new to me but it looks all right so rather than having um, a thing screwed in the bottom this is the weight of the nut the bolt on top pulls this up and squashes the bottom of the housing so you've got to get quite a good seal to squish that this is it's all right but it's reasonably hard rubber and then you've got the actual bleed screw itself here again just inspecting the rubber inspecting for any damage receiving and the sending part and there you are all good Yep, nice and nipped up. So that goes through there like so. Should get a nice bond on there. That goes through there. Should get a lovely bond on there. So I'm going to change the seal that sits on top of here and check all that. I can't, it's a bit dark and a bit tight in there to film it. But I'm just going to make sure there's no nicks or damages or anything in the actual housing it sits on. I will change the top seal that it sits on. This is a nice fresh seal in there and uh, bolt it back together. 
And for me, I cannot see any reason why this won't form a diesel type seal. Absolutely no reason whatsoever. Hey guys, so because Access is a pig, I've changed the seal. And I can't, you know, I can feel, but I can't actually see. So what I've done is I've just done this little video just so I can see that it's fully home. There's no twists in it. Sometimes they can twist. So it's just make sure it's completely straight. It's uh, it's completely flat and it's ready to receive. The trouble with this type of bowl and the nature of it, you can't um, prime it. So whereas sometimes it's quite nice to put some diesel in. You can only do it on this one. This has got to be done up to actually get on it. So it's just finger tight there. What I do is I like to make every now and then to make sure everything's lined up. Now, using a it's an 11 mil. Them things that you just don't want to rush. If you just quickly nip it up the socket, you'll miss the way it's behaving if it's pulling on a funny angle. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close the air vent to save any uh, accidents. I'll go and open the fuel cock, and then when I come back down here, open the air vent up again, allowing the bowl to fill. Uh, I'll get the engine started, make sure it doesn't need bleeding, make sure all the air is out of it. If it needs bleeding, I'll do so. And then I'll leave it for 24 hours, monitor it with a pot underneath it. So let me just fill this fuel bowl up. I might tune back in when, I've, when I'm filling it. Uh, we'll see if the old girl starts. Speak to you in a second. Hey guys, it's a shame I didn't get that on camera. Um, I went to undo the bleed screw and I couldn't do it up. It was going everywhere. So I think the issue was this. It's quite hard to show on a camera the absolute state of it. The, this completely mangled uh, copper seal. Not a seal. Completely not a seal. That is shot to bits. So a nice fresh washer. I'll get that on there. And that should uh, rectify the issue. I was looking at the way this is stepped. Uh, I'm going to make sure this wash sits on there nicely. Otherwise it could be an O-ring. I'll just zoom in nice and close. So this, oh, this washer is a little bit bigger. And it sits over that sort of inner step. And allows the outer one to seal. So I'm hoping that's going to rectify it. So I'm going to screw this on now, open the fuel again, and hopefully not get not get covered in diesel. I know I've got to mop up my friend's boat, not, not loads, you know, but it was it was squirting, not a good one. So I'll get this back done back up, try and bleed it again, um, and then get the engine run over, get the air out of it, and I reckon that was the uh, the culprit. It's nothing to do with the bubble seals or anything. But yeah, I'll get on with this, um, get that screw back up, get it turned back on. I'll show you the the not leaking version uh, and see if she'll start. So I'll see you in a second. There she is guys, sweet as a nut, absolutely bone dry all the way round. So I'm going to leave the fuel on for, I don't know, 12 hours, 24 hours, whenever I get a chance to come back. I make sure there's no drips, I've tried the bilge, there's no diesel in the bilge, well, maybe a few bits, but I've cleaned out the bulk of it, but I am 110% confident that that is fixed. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, hope it's been helpful for someone who's fault finding a diesel leak on their primary fuel filter, you know, you think it's going to be the big rubber seals, with a little copper washer, I think people don't look at, but yeah, cheers guys. Thanks for Patreon Blue Dog Oz, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm going back to Sandin.